Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Real Life Ed. I'm Ben Corkery and I'm going off the line diet. So, um, before anyone freaks out, we are making some small changes. I've decided to add a couple things in and see how that goes. Uh, two weeks ago, I did a video with a little update saying I was gonna do two weeks of strict, back to strict line after trying a couple things. Um, and did that, went well, went fine, but I've just been not feeling totally optimized, not feeling... So basically I wasn't just feeling totally kind of optimized, it was feeling just like I was lacking a little bit and like there was something missing, wasn't having a ton of fun with the diet. I think I was forcing myself a little bit and maybe less eating things I craved and more things I think I, sh I thought I should be eating. Um, definitely obsessing a little over the, um, just the strictness of it and thinking that strict is always better and it's been an awesome experiment and I'll probably come back to it still, but overall, um, I just wasn't feeling good about it. I was feeling kind of really, uh, like I was forcing my way through it a little bit. Still enjoying the food, but just, just feeling like maybe it was time to change something up. So we're not talking any huge changes here. Gonna have a bulletproof coffee, weak coffee, with some ghee in there, just probably ghee and collagen, um, maybe some MCT oil, but um, just wanna add a few of these things in to kind of just enjoy my life more, essentially. Um, if it causes a problem, I'll just take it back out. Um, I've been feeling pretty stable and pretty good overall. Um, just a little frustrated, like I'm keeping myself to these rules and maybe not for the best experience so yeah with that being said gonna make a bulletproof coffee um, I picked up some grass-fed butter and might throw that in as well um, and test some of these things out but uh, yeah all that is to say um, I've got a foundation there to come back to um, I don't want to get stuck in a trap of, of feeling like this has to be a certain way we change too I've been doing this for um, four and a half months now and I think I've been chasing a sort of perfection of of this diet which might not come just from being strict um, now I think it's an awesome test I had great results with it at first and it's definitely like kind of my baseline being that strict but anyways we're gonna see what happens uh, I'm getting some more lamb in the diet too so um, but just, yeah, adding in a little bit of coffee and, uh, but with the fat so that, you know, the, the caffeine, um, you know, hits you more evenly, hits you slower when you have the caffeine in it. So let's take a quick look at the stuff I picked up. I grabbed some organic grass fed ghee. Boom. Gonna throw some of that in the coffee. Um, some organic, some organic coffee. And I grabbed some grass-fed butter, which I have not had in a long time, like five months. Um, and I just want to play around a little bit, add a few other things in, see how it goes. Just try to have fun with this instead of like trying to get somewhere. I've been really feeling like I've been trying to get somewhere with this diet and it's just been a little frustrating. So it's not like I'm giving up on it, but just trying to have more fun with it. Um, give, cut myself a little bit of slack and see, see what the results are, see what the see what changes you know if I need to be strict again I can go back to that but um, that's all for now we'll whip up this coffee we'll see how it goes um, but yeah I've just been reminded recently to not be too too stuck or too certain of what you know there are different things I've been craving a little more variety so I bring in a little more seafood and things like that um, and just see how it goes um, it's a it's a marathon for sure like I'm sticking with this as long as it helps me and basically um, right now this just feels like the right thing to do. I was gonna push another two weeks just on strict with the raw fat and, and beef, but I'm feeling like kind of my body wants something a little different, even if it's just a little bit of variety. So still be high fat and I'll still be pretty strict carnivore, but just a few little tweaks and I'll let you know what I find and, and whatever else I find along the way. So let me know what you think in the comments, coffee, butter, people post all kinds of crazy things about the reactions. When I had coffee before, I had it just on an empty stomach and it was like not with fat or anything in it so it did I didn't feel great it didn't feel awful but just kind of like 
it didn't feel great. I got kind of right through me indigestion wise and kind of jittery, but I'm going to try a weak, super weak coffee with, um, with some fats in it just for some energy, some fun and, uh, see how it goes. Something that I've been wondering about is like, you know, am I not totally fat adapted? Cause my energy sometimes is still low. I, I won't lie. Like, um, sometimes I feel good, but sometimes I feel like I'm looking for that extra bit of pick me up. So I don't really know what that is. I'm going to still keep playing around with fat. Um, I think I probably still need fat and to, and to keep that pretty high, but um, that's all for now. Um, keeping it high fat, playing around a little bit, and just trying to have more fun with this in the long run. So um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, how these things have affected you. We're all, obviously all different, um, but I think it'd be fun to play around with these and then uh, come back with the data that you learned. So that's all for today. This is Real Life Ed. I'm Ben Corkery. I'll talk to you soon. Pssh. Sitting here, sipping on my Bulletproof coffee. Listening to some Mark Bell. This is fucking awesome. Sunny. Coffee's spot on. Just what I needed. So, if you think you need something, as long as it's not totally shit, if it's not totally off plan, maybe you do need it. Maybe you just need it once too. Who knows? But, cheers.